Good afternoon, oil traders. It is still October 2nd. It's 3.52 p.m. Eastern Time. We have about eight minutes left in trading here on the East Coast. And we are ending down, um, down as much as uh, 2.5%. Um, at the lows, we hit uh, a low of 50.08. Um, and as you can see, we've bounced back up about a percent um, to settle in at about 50.5%. Um, so what did I do? Well, I did exactly what I told you I would do. I sold uh, short positions, um, as many as I could, uh, that were profitable. I could have sold one more, but I decided to sell three. Um, I sold them at a crude price of 50.27 um, when we settled there and uh, prior to the initial bounce back up um, to a crude price of uh, 50. 49 if I flip over to the one day chart here uh, you can see where we settled and then we climbed back up before we dropped to the ultimate days low and subsequently bounced back up to where we are right now so I sold on this uh, first settling point about uh, just a couple minutes into the trading session um, and then <clears throat> And, uh, and then when we dropped to uh, 50.25 is where I bought long, um, thinking that there might be a bounce, which of course there was. Um, and I have not yet sold that long. So in terms of the short positions, uh, I sold the most recent short um, from a price of 51.55 that I bought uh, last week. And then I sold two more um, that I had purchased the week prior at a crude price of 50.87 and 50.65. So those were very small profits, uh, but they were in the money and I thought that it would give me an opportunity to repurchase a short on the bounce if we got a bounce. It also helped that I had another short position at 50.20. Uh, so as you can see, I could have sold that one as well. It would have been basically break even, um, but giving me the flexibility to buy again should we bounce. Of course, the, de the drawback of that strategy is if we had continued to descend, I would be missing out on those potential profits. So I decided to uh, sell just those three short positions and purchase the long hedge rather than selling the four shorts. Um, so in terms of profitability, um, you can check that out on tradingjournal.ca and you can see that um, this is here today's date, October 2nd. Um, it was an average hold time of nine days, three hours across those three shorts from the September 20th, 21st, and 28th most recently. Um, and it was an average return on the position of 2.15% and a profit of about $779. Um, so yeah, um, good day. And as you can see that between Today's profit and uh, Friday's profit, I pretty much covered the losses on that long position that I had been holding for 160-ish days. Um, so that really helps um, kind of morale, I should say. Um, and I really do like having a long position again as a hedge. Um, I was targeting to sell that long position at a price of 50.75. We never got that high. Um, to be honest, I'm willing to take um, 50, 60 plus today, um, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get there, so I'm just gonna hang on to that long position, and maybe we'll get there tomorrow. And if we don't, if we drop instead, um, I'm cool with that too. <clears throat> like I said, it helps have a long position as a hedge on the portfolio, which is completely otherwise um, bare, as you can see right here. It's basically um, the only long position that I have is this seven hour seven and a half hour long position <clears throat> excuse me that I just purchased everything else is a bear position so it helps to at least bounce a little bit um, yeah so that's that um, I thought that we might go sub 50 today so I bought that long position thinking that we might actually go lower um, and of course we didn't um, but uh, maybe we will tomorrow in which case I should have sold this long position, but I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy with the trading today. It's given me an opportunity to exercise that uh, kind of tweaked approach where I'm selling and buying um, the opposite trade, in this case, a long hedge um, in rapid succession. Um, so I was prepared to sell this long, but uh, where we are right now, I think I could do a little bit better tomorrow, even if it's just a few cents 
um, it helps. Um, I just don't think that right now is optimal for whatever reason. I don't know. I've convinced myself. What have you guys convinced yourselves of? You can hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. Or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can learn more about my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc. etc. You can, uh, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and uh, I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow morning at or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.